Hi, welcome back. So I want to talk a little bit more about what's coming up next week, which is our first report. So one of the drivers, the breakthrough uh, goals for this course was increased self-confidence. Now, self-confidence comes from many, many things. But when we look back in our lives, we can see moments where we had a defining moment, something that changed the course of our lives. And as a result of that, we took something and we can build our confidence from that. And so this is going to be the first minute you're going to deliver, the first report you're going to deliver, and it's going to be a two minute report. Okay. And it's based on a defining moment in your life. Now, what's a defining moment? Well, a defining moment is, is when you can look back on something and you can see how it changed your life or changed who you became as a result of that. Steve Jobs says in his talk at Harvard, uh, I think it was Harvard, it was Harvard or Stanford, that it's only when you look back that you can see the changing points in, in life. It's only when, when you look back that you can start to connect those dots. You don't realize the impact of that decision as you're moving through. And so we're gonna, there will be a set up a, a report planning sheet that you will uh, submit in advance. And then next week, uh, and the week after, we'll start to um, deliver our um, defining moment reports. Um, and so you'll 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 create the report and you'll upload it. Uh, and then uh, I will come in. I will I, I, and I'll give everybody some feedback on this. And we'll set up a way for for this to to continue moving forward as well. Um, and so here's what a defining moment report might look like. So there I was sitting in my Nana's living room. My mum and dad walked in and my dad said, I've got something to tell you. It was the only time I've ever seen my dad cry. He said to me and my sister, we're 11 and nine, I have cancer. And I'm sure Many of us know the feeling uh, when someone we love has, 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 has cancer. It always feels like a death sentence. And at that moment, we all got together and we, we all cried. Uh, it turned out he had testicular cancer and had to have a testicle removed. And I remember telling someone at school about it. And then I was teased because my dad only had one testicle. But he got through it. He got through it. He had uh, a reoccurrence in his lymph nodes a couple of years later and had radiotherapy. And he got through it. And with that in mind, when my mum had breast cancer five or six years ago, I knew she would get through it. What this says about me is that I'm strong. So what you'll see there is we go straight to the action. To help you do that, you can say, so there I was. Don't give us any preamble, straight to the action, okay? And then finish it with a statement, what this says about me. So what this says about me is that I am strong. That was my takeaway from that. And you can have whatever takeaway you want. And it doesn't have to be a sad story. It just happens to be that that's one of the defining moments I have. I'll give you another example of one um, later in the week um, so that you have another idea of, of, of a different place. But I have different, I have different options in terms of moments that changed who I, who I am. Um, but that definitely was, was something that was fairly formative in my, in my childhood. So we will be delivering those two minute talks, um, starting with, so there I was, um, straight to the action and then ending it with what this says about me is this. And the idea is that by doing this, we reveal how we've already taken steps towards those goals and help build our self-confidence because there's plenty of these. There's plenty of these sorts of, uh, of moments we have. The reason we keep it to two minutes, if you took a cup of coffee, if you drink coffee black, okay, so you have the just, just coffee, by adding water to it, you just dilute it. You just keep diluting it at that point. You're not making the coffee any stronger. 
And the same thing rings true in stories that we tell. The longer we draw them out, the less impactful they are. So concentrate on making this an impactful two minute presentation. And everybody will get video feedback from me on this one. Um, we'll, do, we'll go through the whole class that way, okay? Um, any questions, there'll be space on the discussion board for talking about uh, our uh, presentations, but you'll have a, a planning sheet as well, which gives you the opportunity to think it through. Let's not read from our planning sheets. Although recording this remotely, it's very easy to, to do that. I would rather have the real you. It's your story. You've earned the right to tell that story to us. Uh, and so you don't need those notes. You know what happened. So tell us that story. Okay. Uh, and join me in the next session uh, where we're going to talk about the human relations principles and a way to remember them.